Hello, and welcome back to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and today we are once again doing a spotlight on plugins. We're talking about Ledger Lines Hide and Ledger Lines Show. And in the Plugins menu, it's in the Note Beam and Rest Editing section. Now, this is a plugin that you will all have. It comes with Finale. And in the Note Beam and Rest Editing section, it's right in the middle. It's Ledger Lines Hide and Ledger Lines Show. And it's rather simple. The idea is that it's going to hide or show your ledger lines. Uh, so the way this works is just take the selection tool, make a selection. And if that selection has a note with a ledger line in it, and you go and choose Ledger Lines, lines hide, it will actually hide that ledger line, just like it says it would. So very simple. Um, we could also choose partial measures. So if you just kind of lasso select the first uh, piece of this measure here and do the same thing, you can hide just those ledger lines. Of course, we can do this uh, across the whole thing. Uh, hide ledger lines one more time, and you can see that all of the ledger lines have gone away. Now the other plugin will do the opposite. So if you have hidden ledger lines, you can go in here, note beam and rest editing, and do ledger lines show, and they will all reappear just like that. That is basically it. That's how the plugin works. It's rather simple. And now you're looking at this piano part and you're wondering why in the world would you want to hide the ledger lines in a piano part like this? Well, you really wouldn't. Um, so I wouldn't recommend doing it in this particular context. However, there are cases where this comes in handy. And I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom half of this page here to show you where this does come into play. Now I've got something set up here where it's sort of a rhythm section part for the piano player with chords and slashes, but I've got these little band cues on the top. And I put them on C, I've changed the note head, I've moved the rest, all this stuff. And I also have the, the drums cued here with X note heads below the staff in layer two, etc. And you can kind of see, yeah, this works, it's fine, but you know what, the ledger lines, they don't really need to be there. This would actually look a lot cleaner without the ledger lines. So this is where this plugin uh, really shines, is that you highlight those measures and you hide the ledger lines. And just like that, this looks a lot cleaner. You know, the band cues don't need to be on a specific pitch, obviously. You just want to show the rhythm. The drum set part here, the drum set cue, you don't want to show on a specific pitch. You just want to show the rhythm. So this is a much cleaner look. The, I guess the sort of trick to this is just making sure that when you originally start, make sure that these notes are in an appropriate place. You know, if this is down on the G, this is not going to work as well. Or if it's too high, you know, let's just show, set this up so we can move these up a little bit more just to show what this looks like. Uh, we can do uh, high ledger lines. You know, I guess that looks okay as well, but it just looks different. So you kind of just, you know, make a decision about where you want these things to show on the staff. And then, uh, you know, use the, the plugin just like that. Nice and easy. Now, the one thing is that if you have multiple layers, this plugin will actually affect all the layers at once. So you can see I've got the band cues up here and the layer two uh, piano part here showing as well. So if I were to choose this uh, plugin, Ledger Lines Hide, you'll see something bad happen. The, you're not going to see what the notes are below the staff. So that's really not ideal. However, you can parse this out by uh, layer. And the way to do this is if you just want to hide the ledger lines in one layer, what you need to do is go into the layer that you want to hide. So I'm going to go into layer three here because I put these cues in layer three. Um, select the, the measures, but go to document show active layer only. Now this will hide all of the other layers except the layer that you're in, in this case layer three, and then we can run that same plugin ledger lines hide, and it will hide the ledger lines in layer three, but when you go back and show active layer only, it will leave the ledger lines below the staff for layers one and two. So this is a, a much better look. Obviously, you don't want to hide the ledger lines down here. So you can parse it out by um, uh, layer as well if you do it like that. And, and if you don't need to do it like that, then it doesn't matter what's showing. You can just go in here and hide your ledger lines and all is good. Now, obviously, this is a piano part, but this is uh, very common to do with drum set parts as well. And uh, if you're curious about how I set this up, by the way, with the slashes and the notes and the, the alternate note heads, I've also done another thing with the rests getting, getting moved up um, and all that stuff. Uh, I'm going to point you towards a couple of videos right now so that you can kind of look at this. First of all, there's staff styles going on here. So in the staff tool strategies category, you can look at 20-3A through whatever it is. There's a lot of information about staff styles. There's a specific video about alternate notation, particularly with slashes where you can see notes in other layers. And that's video 20-4. That's really useful for uh, alternate notation. And actually, I did a whole video on big band drum parts that does a lot of stuff like this. 
um, and that is the the second subscriber request video so I'll put a little link for that as well and incidentally there the other thing I did with this is I actually used the uh, move rest plugin which is right below the ledger lines and that was the second video in the spotlight on plugin series so uh, you can go check that out as well to see how I uh, you know move these rests uh, all at once but other than that that's all there is to it like I said you know just knowing that this plugin exists is half the battle actually knowing that this plugin exists is sort of you know 90% of the, the battle um, but knowing, just knowing that you can do this in finale is, is really the key um, but other than that, yeah, that's how it works. So uh, I hope that helps. You know, I'm going to give you one little bonus thing here. Uh, if you're really curious about what this uh, plugin is doing under the hood, I'm going to show you something uh, getting a little bit deep into the program. So I'm going to go into my speedy entry tool. Now, when you first enter speedy entry, you'll always get a, a frame uh, if you have it set up that way. Um, but if you click off of the, the measures, you will not see a frame open like that. And when you don't have a frame open on a Mac, if you hold down Option and click in any measure, you will get to this magical edit frame window. Now this is sort of like what's going on under the hood in every single one of these frames. And it's kind of crazy. Every single uh, entry gets a, a an, an entry slot here. And you can just uh, go between them by pressing next, previous, previous, previous. So entry slot zero is actually the first one. It's actually this upper C here. Uh, the next one, entry slot one, is the next B. And every single entry gets this list of attributes, and some of them are checked, some of them are unchecked, depending on what's going on in the measure. And you can see that one of the items here is ledger. And so for this first entry, which is entry slot zero, if you just uncheck the ledger there and click OK, you'll see that the ledger lines will go away just for that first entry. So literally what this plugin is doing is it's, it's taking the selection that you've made and going into this little edit frame window and taking every single one of these entries and unchecking this box. Um, but it's obviously doing it all at once and in a much simpler manner because, you, you know, again, you can just go boom, 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 uh, hide ledger lines and uh, all as well. So a little bonus tip about what's going on under the hood with that plugin for all you advanced users if you're really curious. Uh, I thought that might be interesting to show. All right, so I believe that's it. That's been another Spotlight on Plugins. My name is Jason. I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, if you haven't done so, please uh, subscribe. And yeah, so I'll look forward to seeing you on the next one. I'll see you then.